Hi, my name is Tom Lowenstein, and this is the fabrication video for the Magic Touch Cordless Roller Shade System. We will review all of the parts that are required in order to fabricate this system, as well as the assembly process for the Magic Touch Cordless Roller Shade. Our cordless shade system consists of a unique clutch-free spring drive that operates the shade without bead chain or cord. There are five different clutch-free spring drives available in this system. The clutch-free spring drives are marked with the letters A through E to help choose the correct drive. The size and weight of the shade will determine which clutch-free spring drive to use. The spring finder chart quickly calculates the correct clutch-free spring drive. Since there is no right or left control, only a left clutch-free spring drive is used for the cordless shade. A stop device allows the setting adjustment of the stop point. For the cordless shade, only a green right stop device is used. Fabrication is simplified by using a single tube that mounts to a metal head rail. The tube, complete with components and shade fabric, is attached to the head rail with end brackets that allow different operating options. Snap-on installation brackets provide for a quick and easy installation for both inside and outside mount applications. There are three important tools required to fabricate the cordless roller shade. First is our fabrication manual, which contains detailed instructions for the Magic Touch system. Next, the spring finder chart is an Excel spreadsheet that calculates the size of the clutch free spring to be used. Last, the spring winding tool is used in the actual fabrication. All of these will be explained in greater detail later in the video. The shade we are fabricating will be a Magic Touch cordless shade, 27 inches wide by 54 inches long with M screen 5% fabric. Simply enter the fabric type, shade width, shade height, and bottom rail weight into the spring finder chart. The letter of the correct clutch free spring will be displayed in the bottom right of the spreadsheet. Just below the spring is the number of revolutions or turns needed to set the proper spring tension. This shade requires spring A and 10 revolutions on the spring. Because the shade is cordless, there is no right or left control options. The clutch free spring drive will always be inserted into the left side of the tube and the green right stop device will always be inserted into the right side of the tube. Side adjust brackets will be used to attach the tube to the head rail. The Magic Touch cordless shade system offers various end brackets for different options of adjustment. Either side adjust or wheel adjust brackets can be used. The side adjust brackets allow for easy adjustment of both the stop point and the spring tension without having to take the shade apart. There is no need to remove the shade on an outside mount application in order to adjust the stop point or spring tension. In order to fabricate the cordless roller shade system, the clutch free spring drive and the stop device must be inserted into the tube before attaching the fabric. The fabric will overlap both the clutch free spring drive and the stop device when attached. Insert the clutch free spring drive into the left side of the tube. Ensure that the notch in the clutch free spring drive aligns with the splines in the tube. Slide the clutch free spring drive into the tube until it is flush with the end of the tube. Next, align the slots in the green right stop device to the splines in the right side of the tube, opposite the clutch free spring drive. Slide the stop device into the tube until it is flush with the end of the tube. After the clutch free spring drive and the stop device are inserted, then fabric can be attached. This tube has been prepared with the clutch free spring drive and the stop device. The fabric has been attached and includes our fabric wrap bottom rail.
Once the tube assembly is completed and the fabric is attached, the tension of the clutch-free spring drive can be set. The spring finder chart calculated that 10 revolutions or turns would be required for this shade. Set the tension on the clutch-free spring drive by using the spring tension adjust tool. Turning the spring clockwise nine times, use a start-stop method for the tenth or last rotation. Ensure that the spring catches after the final rotation. Attach the male tab of the side adjust bracket to the control end of the clutch-free spring drive. Insert the bracket foot into the opening of the headrail. Screw the bracket into the headrail using the one half inch screws provided. Attach the male tab of the side adjust bracket to the end control of the stop device. Insert the bracket foot into the headrail. Screw the bracket into the headrail using the one half inch screws provided with the brackets. Okay. Wheel adjust brackets are an alternative to the side adjust brackets. This bracket can be used for either the spring drive side, the stop device side, or for both the spring drive and stop device sides of the tube. The brackets are inserted in the same manner as the side adjust brackets. A wheel adjust bracket will allow the adjustment of the spring tension or stop point with the turn of a wheel. This is an ideal application for both inside and outside mount shades. The shade does not have to be taken down or removed from the window opening to adjust either the tension or the stop point. However, this option will create a light gap on either side of the shade where the wheel adjust bracket has been used. Now we're ready to hang and test the shade. Installation and removal of the shade is quick and easy. Install two to three installation brackets on your lift rack for shade testing. The actual number of installation brackets will vary based on shade size. The installation brackets are used for both inside and outside mount applications. For inside mount shades, the clear tension tab will face the front of the shade. To install the shade, place the back of the head rail into the rear of the bracket, then rotate the shade forward until it snaps into the bracket. For outside mount shades, the clear tension tab will face down. To install the shade, place the top of the head rail into the top of the bracket, then rotate the shade downward until it snaps into the bracket. The shade is lowered by pulling down on the bottom rail like a standard spring roller shade. One pull on the bottom rail will lift the shade fully or to the set stop point. The tension is adjusted by turning the slot on the side adjust bracket at the clutch free spring drive end with a flathead screwdriver. To adjust the spring tension, use a flathead screwdriver and turn the slot on the outside of the bracket clockwise to increase tension. Turn counterclockwise to reduce tension. An alternative method to adjust tension does not require the use of a flathead screwdriver, but instead requires the use of our fabric wrapped bottom rail. The design of our bottom rail allows it to fit between the tube and the head rail. If the tension is too loose, simply lower the shade and feed the bottom rail through the opening between the tube and the head rail, rolling the fabric onto the tube. This can be repeated until the proper tension has been reached. To loosen the tension, pull the shade up fully. Then simply unroll the fabric wrap bottom rail from the tube, reversing the process of adding tension. Repeat this process until the desired tension is reached. 
Note that after each tension adjustment, the stop point will need to be reset. If the shade is pulled down too far, it will lock into this position. It can easily be reset by simply reversing the turn of the roller. Grab the tube and rotate it towards the back of the opening. The shade will open or roll up and is again ready for use. The stop point can also be set on the stop device bracket located on the right side of the shade using a standard flathead screwdriver. Step 1. Lower the shade to the desired stop point. Step 2. Turn the slot in the side adjust bracket on the stop device clockwise until the stop device engages or the fabric moves. You have now set the stop point. Step 3. To set a higher stop point or to completely reset the stop point, turn the slot counterclockwise until the desired height is reached. Step 4. To set another lower point, repeat step 1. Now that our shade is complete, let's review the options for our cordless shade. We've already shown you how to adjust our sample shade with side adjust brackets for both the clutch free spring drive and the stop device. We'll now go over the adjustment procedures for the other bracket options. Shade number one has been made with the side adjust brackets for the clutch free spring drive and a wheel adjust bracket for the stop device. The adjustment for the tension is set the same as our sample shade that has the side adjust brackets. Since a wheel adjust bracket has been used on the stop device end, no screwdriver is needed to adjust the stop point. Set the stop point by turning the wheel using the same procedure as the side adjust bracket. Shade number two has been made with a wheel adjust bracket for the clutch free spring drive and a side adjust bracket for the stop point. The tension is set by turning the wheel using the same procedure as the side adjust bracket. The stop point is set the same as our sample shade. Shade number three has been made using wheel adjust brackets for both the clutch free spring drive and the stop device. The tension is set by turning the wheel using the same procedure as a side adjust bracket. A wheel adjust bracket has also been used on the stop device end. Set the stop point by turning the wheel using the same procedure as the side adjust bracket. A screwdriver is not needed to adjust the tension or stop point because wheel adjust brackets have been used on both sides of the shade. The larger 120 cassette option is also available with this system. It is available for both the cordless shown here or our clutch assist version. Remember to refer to our fabrication manual which supports this video. It includes additional fabrication details as well as parts listing and installation instructions. Thank you for your time today.